Hello everyone, I'm Curry Shot. I'm a multi-season top 500 player and in today's video we're going to be talking about the strategic thought process that goes into positioning with Tracer. With that being said, let's get right into the video. We're going to be using Volskaya Industries as our demonstration map today. And the first thing that you really want to do is establish the route which you're taking. You can go far right here through the choke up the stairs. You can go far right just through them up the other stairs back there. You can go far right onto point and try to fight them here. They usually hold this side of the choke. You can go left onto point. You can go left up to high ground or you can flank from the left. All these kind of routes have a strategic aspect to them, right? So if you flank left here, always try to save one blink here because it could be somebody watching the flank. You never know. So the other thing that you really want to do is try to map out common positions in terms of what enemies usually position in, right? So this is a pretty common spot for soldiers sometimes because they experience minimal damage fall off at this range. They have a damage fall off of 40 meters. So they could be positioned up here. You could sneak by. So you really want to make sure you crouch walk up here so you're not hurt if they do see you. And then you can go ahead and one clip them. Another common spot is up here, right? So a soldier could be positioned up here. And the other thing is on these defense 2CP maps, they're it's very common that the enemy team won't run heroes with verticality, right? So you will be relatively safe up here and you can go ahead and poke at them, charge your ultimate and kind of create space for your team. The other thing though you could do is you could just drop to point and try to look for the 1v1. If you know their team comp, because it'll be 15 seconds will pass, you can hit tab and see what they have. And you have a favorable 1v1 matchup, you want to go ahead and try to take it. Or they will send more than one person knowing, well, okay, I can't 1v1 him because it's just a bad matchup for me. So we need to send more than one person. This creates space for your team. And they have to react, otherwise they're gonna lose ticks on the point, right? So this will go ahead and create space for your team. And what that means is they're fighting a war on two fronts. And if they don't respect your team, they're just going to walk right through them and they're going to get picked off. This kind of creates a sort of chaos, right? So it's, it's a really good way to create picks for your team uh, without even actually doing anything, right? You don't actually have to kill anybody. You just have to create pressure this way. So with Tracer, you just want to create pressure. You do want to get picks and look for the ISOs. So if you are up there, you could look for somebody who strays away from the herd and try to get an ISO pick up there as well, okay guys? So the other more important thing that I want to talk about, this is going to be a really short video because this is more up to the player than it than it is just a general sense of uh, game sense is you really want to think about the matchups. So instead of like, I see a lot of VOD reviews, oh, you died here, you know, you died to the sun, you shouldn't do that, right? It's more so, well, I need to know the matchup. So Roadhog's hook got nerfed, right? Now it's an eight, eight second cooldown. This is just an example instead of a six second cooldown. So after you bait his hook with your blinks, don't be conservative, conservative with them. You can go ahead and go ham on him and try to, you know, get that damage out and eventually force his W and then just stick him with a pulse bomb. It's, it's really, really simple. These heat of the moment positioning advice, it, it needs to come just from game sense. That's, that's, that's all it is. There's no secret. It just needs to come from experience and practice. Now, another kind of matchup would be McCree. He's a, considered a counter, but if you know the matchup, you can deal with that as well. Like all these kind of match in the moment matchups uh, really comes down to the player. Now that's it for my video on 2CP, how to position with Tracer and how to think about positioning. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in next video. And don't forget to check out my defense tracer video that I've released about two weeks ago that goes over other positioning tips in terms of how to play defense tracer and how to be effective with it and the strategy around that. I will see you in next video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope to see you there.